this is going to be a great video and you do not want to miss this one because I'm going to go into the top 10 resources that I use on a daily basis to make sure that I keep my finger on the pulse and always stay ahead of what's going on. And guys, if you haven't checked out my second channel, make sure that you go do that. It's called Kyle's Crypto Alpha. You can get the link in the description below. Now, guys, the last resource I'm gonna share with you guys today is super important and you do not want to miss it. So if that sounds good to you guys, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and let's get into it. So the first one we're gonna talk about today is crypto quant. Now, you hear everyone say, do your own research, and I cannot stress this enough. Remember, it is your responsibility what you do with your money. It is never, ever anybody else's responsibility. You have to take responsibility. Therefore, you must do your own research. If you look at Gary V, when he talks about NFTs, he says he does countless hours of research before investing into any one singular NFT. So take the words of wisdom from a man who's very successful and make sure you do your own research. CryptoQuant is a site that can give you all kinds of data. It can tell you everything you need to know. More importantly, we can look at things like exchange outflows and see how much exchange or inflows, how much Bitcoin or cryptocurrency is coming into exchanges. And when it comes into exchanges, we think that probably people are going to sell it. That is a bad sign that we think that maybe at that point, we will start to see some sell pressure. But when you see outflows, exchange, like something like Bitcoin leaving exchanges, we think that people are going to hodl for the long term. And we can see if we go back and look right now, and we go over here to the dashboard that I've set up, you can see on my Bitcoin exchange reserves, you can see that right now, currently, we're currently at one of the lowest times in history for Bitcoin beyond exchanges. This is extremely bullish, ladies and gentlemen, but on CryptoQuant, you can get so much data and it's really fun to dive into. So I suggest that you go check that out. So the next one, guys, is going to be the coin perspective. Now, the coin perspective is fun for speculation. It's always great to think about when you can compare something. Let's say that we get a new meme coin that launches, right? Whatever it is. And we want to say, hmm, I wonder what would happen if that goes to the price of Shiba Inu, for example, or, you know, we're thinking maybe Board Ape Yacht Club can be the size of what Bitcoin is today. Well, that's, that's not really far-fetched because we know that Bitcoin is going to go a lot higher. So what happens? Let's go find out what would happen if ApeCoin went to Bitcoin where it is today. So we just go here to this little drop-down menu and we search for ApeCoin. We've already got it selected and we can just scroll down here. You can see some data about it. But more importantly, you can see here uh, ApeCoin compared to uh, every other coin like Bitcoin or Ethereum or USDT, etc. So for example, we can just see now that if ApeCoin were to go to the valuation of Bitcoin, it would be 182x from here. This is just, again, fun for speculation. So the next one we're going to go to is Coin Tracker, one of my least favorite things to talk about, but one of the most important things for you guys, if you're especially if you're in the United States, is for taxes. So it is tax season right now. Last time we talked, uh, we told you guys that only 4% of crypto holders in America had actually done their taxes uh, with crypto. So I imagine that Coin Tracker is incredibly busy right now. This will go and track your wallets, track all the transactions for you, and help make that accounting process much more easy. Next thing we're moving to is one of my favorite things ever, coin stats. Now, my wallet's not hooked up to this for obvious reasons, but you can go and use this thing right here, Portfolio Tracker. And Portfolio Tracker is great. As you can see here on the, on the demo that they give, you can see that this was an example of someone's wallet. And you can see that, you know, they, you, can connect, uh, you can connect to Huobi or Binance Chain or Coinbase or FTX or MetaMask, and you can connect to different networks as well, like Polygon or Avalanche or whatever, and it tracks all of your wallets in a trustless way. You can connect through APIs where it doesn't have access to anything, but it can read the data and see what's in your wallet. And it can tell you everything on here, like how much things have gone up or how much have gone down, what your buy price was, what your sell price was, how much profit you've made. It makes things really, really easy and automated. There is a free version of this as well, which works really well. Um, I have a paid version. It's not very expensive. I, I don't remember. I think it's like $8 a month or something. Um, very worth it. It's, it I, I use this every single day. As we start to see more and more transactions being multi-chain, meaning that one project might have a token on Polygon, it might have a token on BSC, or now BNB chain, and it might have a token on Ethereum, for example, or even some of the new layer twos like Arbitrum or Optimism or Metis DAO. So, we need tools like AnySwap or this one over here, Synapse, and I just show them to you both because they both have different networks. So you can see that Synapse has, you know, Terra, Avalanche, Arbitrum, Aurora, BNB Chain, Harmony, Phantom, Midas, Moonbeam, Moonriver, Optimism, you know, a ton of different chains to pick from. And then you can select different coins on them too. Like, you know, we, here we've got 
all these different coins to select from, and you can take that cross network. So if I've got like stable coin, let's say I've got USDC or something on Ethereum, and I want to move it to BNB, or if I've got it on Polygon and I want to move it to you know e Ethereum, these are the kind of tools that will help you do that. Same with any swap. Uh, I've never personally used Synapse. I've used any swap before. It works just great. So yeah, swapping tools are necessary until we have really sufficient layer zeros. And here's a little alpha for you guys. If you're not following analog.1, I suggest that you do. I'm very, very excited for this. It's a long way out before they actually come to mainnet, but it's something that I think is going to be really, really exciting. And if you can get involved with them, I suggest that you do. Moving on, let's go check out DYDX. DYDX is a very, very, very popular exchange, acts just like your favorite centralized exchange. However, it has decentralized custody, meaning that you can connect your MetaMask directly to the exchange and use a lot of the same functionality a normal exchange would have, like an order book, like stop losses, and has perpetuals and futures trading so you can trade with leverage, things like that. DYDX is great for those of you who live in places like New York or United States or even even sanctioned countries um, that aren't allowed to trade on most exchanges. A lot of people ask in the comments, hey, Kyle, where can I get this coin or where can I trade this? Well, DYDX doesn't have a ton of altcoins yet, but they're gaining more and more every day. And it's a great place to go check it out if you have troubles with exchanges because of the place that you live. If you watch my Quadriga video, you know that it's maybe not a good idea to keep a significant amount of your value in a centralized exchange because you never know one day it could just be gone, just like it was in Quadriga. So if you use something like DYDX and you keep your custody in your MetaMask or your own wallet secured by your Trezor or Ledger, at least you don't have to worry of someone else custing your crypto. This is very, very cool about DYDX. All right, guys, next thing we have here is TradingView. Everybody uses TradingView. And guys, if you're watching my second channel, Kyle's Crypto Alpha, you will have been very, very happy to see when I showed you this. This is the moon chart, guys. And I told you about this moon chart right here at the very, very bottom, right when we saw a full moon happening, and it's just gone up from there. So that's fun. Um, just in case you haven't seen that, you just go to indicators here, type in moon, and here you go, moon phases, boop. And then these ones, at the, the gray ones at the bottom are the different full moons. The ones at the top are different, uh, I think half moons or waning moons or whatever. But anyway, the full moons, you can see. Anyway, go watch my alpha channel that, after this one. Uh, to, to learn more about that. This one is investing.com. Now, this is just a news website, but I use it a lot because right now today, the crypto market is still highly correlated to the traditional stock market. So you can come here and usually around right before the markets open in the United States, you can look at the futures and you can see, okay, what's going on in the futures? You can see, and, and this chart right here is a 24 hour chart of stocks. And you can see that it's been going up and crypto has been as well. You can look here, I, I, I go here every single day and I look for significant news to see what's gonna happen in the market. Because unfortunately, if we have a big bad day in the stock market, more than likely we're getting a big bad day in the crypto market as well. And the inverse is also true. If we've got really great days in the stock market or we see some good news coming out on Wall Street, the crypto market seems to pump as well. So I just go to investing.com to get all the information I need about Wall Street. And I believe that affects the crypto market as well. And last, but definitely not least, one of the things I use all the time, almost every single day is Dex Tools. Dex Tools is great. Uh, you can do Dex Tools over here. You can see Ethereum. You can go to BSC or all these different chains, and you can get real time price data, uh, like on TradingView, uh, for any of these coins, even ones that aren't on TradingView yet. And you have nice charts, um, and you see everything that's trending up here at the top. Right now, we see Ape, Ka, which, by the way, let me know if you want me to do a video about Ka because I'm skeptical and I can tell you why. But anyway, let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see a video about Ka. Um, and you can see everything that's trending up here. And, uh, it's and sometimes you catch really good gems um, before they explode just by seeing what's trending. And Dex tools will also tell you really cool things down here. You can see all the buy and sell orders that happen on Dexes. And so you can see when someone's coming in and buying a bunch or selling a bunch. I can show you co really cool things like bots, smart contracts, MEVs, which are basically just people sniping and taking your money. Um, lots of really cool things that you can check out from Dex Tools. So you always can come here and whenever you want to look up a certain coin, you can just type for the name of the coin up here. Let's say we type in Colt, look for it, and then we can go here to Colt. So here you can see all kinds of good information as well. You can see how much liquidity is in the pool, how much volume there is daily on the Dex. This doesn't include centralized exchanges, but just on decentralized exchanges. You can see how many wallet holders there are. There's 14,070. That's good for Colt. Right on. Numbers keep going up. How many total transactions there are. The circulating supply. 
um, when the pool was created. You can also come over here to these icons. You can view the smart contract. You can view if there's any liquidity locked on Unicrypt. Uh, you can look at CoinGecko. You can even add the token to MetaMask. So a lot of times, guys, when you get a new token, it's not automatically added to MetaMask. So what you can do is you can just come here to this little fox here, click it, and it will add this token to your MetaMask. So you don't have to do it the manual process like we used to do back in even just a few months ago. Really, really cool features. You can see their Telegram, their Twitter, the website, all kinds of cool information here. Guys, I love Dex Tools. It's always streaming on my computer. And guys, that's gonna wrap it up today. If you haven't checked out my other channel, Kyle's Crypto Alpha, make sure that you go do that. I drop videos every single day for you and I basically sharing what I learn on a daily basis. Because on this channel, guys, we take a lot more time to go into things and, and bring you more depth, in depth, more researched, uh, topics and it takes longer to edit and take it longer to bring to you. But on the alpha channel, it's what's on the top of my head as I'm thinking every single day, as I'm learning in real time, because guys, I'm in crypto every single day, working here 14, 15, 16 hours a day, learning, talking to people. And I'm going to bring you that knowledge on my alpha channel every single day. Sometimes I got really great information. Sometimes I'm just telling you what kind of stupid moves I'm making that day, but it doesn't matter. Go check it out. I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.